It needs to be law enforcement that takes the steps and takes the actions. Canada's Deputy Prime Minister saying that it's up to police agencies to decide whether MPs broke the law. It comes after a parliamentary committee found that some parliamentarians wittingly aided foreign state actors such as India and China, and their names haven't been made public by the committee, but legislators say that there may be police investigations and details eventually released as part of that process. Joining us now is Kenny Chu. He's a former Conservative MP who lost his seat in the last election. Just earlier this year, the public inquiry found uh, he may have lost it because of Chinese interference. He joins us now from Richmond, B.C. Kenny, good to talk to you tonight. Thank you for the privilege. So this report finds that some parliamentarians, uh, they use the word wittingly, helped uh, foreign governments like China and India. Deputy Prime Minister uh, Chrystia Freeland, we heard her say, liberals will deal with these allegations internally. But do you think that Canadians should know who these parliamentarians are? I do, I do, because uh, without that, these are supposed to be representative of our citizens, our communities, and we need to know what uh, what is the background, what incentivize them in the aiding and abetting with uh, these uh, foreign worker, uh, foreign countries, and without that, it is very difficult for our de democracy to function. Uh, in an informed uh, way. And uh, because of that, I, I think the government has an obligation to disclose and let the uh, Canadian knows um, who they are and why, under what circumstances. Kenny, do you think you know who they are? I, I had my own suspicion uh, throughout the uh, years of observation as just an ordinary Canadians. I have helped uh, many um, politicians and I, I have observed how certain um, regimes, certain countries, how they conduct their influence and how they get close and network with, and then later on uh, make use of their relations and uh, you know change their minds. And through uh, these political leaders, uh, perhaps also in turn change the heart and minds of um, diaspora communities and also other Canadians. So you've got your suspicions. Uh, you're not naming names because there are suspicions. No. Uh, but do you think it's um, uh, an issue that's more a problem for one particular party, or is this across the board? I think there are certain political parties that are more susceptible to these uh, interference, um, although none of the parties are um, completely removed and um, inoculated from from these uh, interference because in the end, I, I'll use the Chinese Communist Party as an example. Uh, what, they, what they want is to get close to the, the heart and the center of power. So the closer a party is to power, uh, the more likely they will try to infiltrate and try to get close and therefore influence the power. And uh, so if you are you know, sixth or fifth uh, ranking in the uh, number of seats in House of Commons, perhaps you are probably more safe. But if you're first, second or third, then uh, you will likely get, uh, you know, get close and attempts to influence you. Um, these allegations come after reports that you may have lost your seat in the 2021 election as a result of Chinese interference. Uh, do you think these new allegations against parliamentarians may have had something to do with your loss that year? And how do you feel about that? Well, I've been I've been telling anybody, everybody who's willing to listen, that this is not about Kenny Chu. This is about Canada, the democracy, the democracy, the foundation of our of our society. Um, and that only NC Cops report only tells us that, unfortunately, even Judge Hogue has not been given sufficient uh, mandate or time to look into how deep and how wide foreign interference has been in Canada. Um, the NCCOP had only solicited uh, internal government agencies uh, to conduct their, their hearing, and all the witnesses listed in the reports are basically MPs or ministers or, or uh, government agencies. Um, unfortunately, that part of the foreign interference was not covered by the uh, Judge Hogue's, um, you know, foreign interference inquiry. And I believe it was by design. 
Uh, it was, you know, trying to do a quick, um, you know, sweep it under the carpet kind of cover. And, and it's unfortunate because there, there are so many uh, tentacles that uh, these foreign countries, I'm not just pointing fingers at uh, the Chinese Communist Party, but there are other uh, that are trying to influence us as a multicultural society in the world. Yeah, Kenny, sure, I take your point. This is not just about Kenny Chu, though you may have been directly affected by it. And as somebody who's an outsider, not part of this, um, hearing this, the idea that a, a sitting parliamentarian would willingly be active in this way, I mean, it sounds like something you'd see in a movie. So it may not be about you, Kenny Chu, but what would like you, Kenny Chu, like to have see done about this, uh, given your experience? I think we need to hold our elected officials to account, uh, perhaps not only just elected officials because senators are not elected, uh, but their conducts also um, have, to be, have to be held accountable. For example, why would uh, senators, a uh, couple of the senators been continue to spread disinformation about uh, the foreign uh, influence registry, uh, either proposed by um, the the current uh, liberal government or the ones that I I propose as anti-Chinese, the 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 version that I propose in 2021 did not even mention the word China or Chinese in there, um, but yet they continue to tell the diaspora community that uh, people like myself or other other um, uh, you know, other parties are, are picking on certain uh, diaspora community. Um, you know, that's, that's just trying to fan the flame and also for matching um, hates. And uh, unfortunately, their, their attempts are actually making use of um, these diaspora community. Why are they doing that? The incentives, that's what I would like to hear. That's what I would like to uh, give these um, public officials a chance to explain themselves. Kenny Chu, former conservative MP, really good to talk to you tonight. Thanks. Thank you, sir.